Hi, this is Dr. Tom Rogers, Performance Medicine, coming to you tonight from the Crooked River Resort. Actually, it is an amazing venue, mostly for weddings of David, Dr. David Templeton, his wife, Annette. It's absolutely one of the most gorgeous places I've ever been in my life. It's phenomenal. So that's where we're broadcasting from tonight. He hosted a party for our office tonight that was just phenomenal. Thank you, David and Annette. Wonderful. Uh, but anyway, so let's talk tonight about uh, a hormone, an over-the-counter hormone supplement really called DHEA, which stands for dihydroepiandosterone. You've probably heard of it as a supplement, and that's what it is, but it also is a powerful hormone. It's, um, it's so powerful, it's even banned by a lot of the world doping agency, so athletes can't take it because they test for it. But for aging humans, it's a wonderful thing. It's been called the mother of all hormones because um, testosterone and estrogen both come from DHEA, which comes from cholesterol. Therefore, if you lower your cholesterol too much, you won't produce enough of that and won't produce enough testosterone and estradiol. And then the other cascades of hormones like cortisol, progesterone, that type of thing. So it's, it's kind of the mother of all hormones. It's been termed a biomarker of aging too, because as you age, this hormone DHEA comes down. Now in the blood, we measure it as DHEAS, which means sulfate. And it's just a more reliable representative of how much DHEA is in your bloodstream. Otherwise, you couldn't really measure it very accurately. So ask your doctor to get a DHEAS level on you, and you can kind of get an idea about where you're at. Now, as I said, it's a precursor to both estrogen and testosterone. So um, a lot of times, if you're younger or even older and already on hormone replacement, you want to look at that level because it will definitely make your testosterone and estrogen levels better, even if you're on hormone replacement, uh, which, of course, if you use bioidentical estrogens and testosterone, um, they're very potent, more potent than DHEA. But DHEA has a lot of other benefits, too. DHEA is produced uh, mainly in the adrenal glands, but also in the brain, and also the gonads, meaning ovaries and testes. So um, it's a very beneficial hormone. There's a lot of reasons people should use this besides increasing your estrogen and testosterone levels. Um, a lot of people take it because most people lose a little bit of weight on it. It has some beneficial effects on your weight. Um, it also is great for your brain. It increases both serotonin and dopamine levels. It decreases your cortisol levels. Remember, cortisol, the stress hormone, is the only hormone that actually increases as you age. And it's bad for, for you if you have chronically elevated cortisol levels. And then you'll burn your adrenal out, adrenals out and you'll get adrenal insufficiency, which goes along with your DHEA being insufficient too. Um, but it, it also helps your immune function. Uh, it is great for your increasing your WBCs in your bloodstream and also your natural killer cells and also your uh, B cells. Um, it helps stress and chronic fatigue syndrome. It's been useful with a lot of things like lupus. It helps your skin, decreases wrinkling, helps depression, helps your bone density. Um, it increases your muscle, and it especially helps for, peop for people that have metabolic syndrome, which means you have high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and uh, high belly fat. It goes along with diabetes as well. Um, it helps vaginal atrophy. It helps erectile dysfunction. Um, so it's a very beneficial over-the-counter supplement. You should take it in the morning because that's when most of your DHEA is produced, so you're trying to stimulate it somewhat. Um, it also increases when you exercise. So if you eat a good diet and you exercise, you're automatically going to have higher DHEA levels. Um, 
Who should not take it? People that have breast cancer. Now, there is a form that you can take if you have breast cancer called keto DHEA, which has no effects on your hormones at all, either estrogen or testosterone, but it may help aid in weight loss and maybe uh, bringing your cortisol levels down. So it still has use. Um, but anyway, it seems to me in my practice that it's been more helpful in women than men to raise their testosterone levels. That'll occur in both men and women, but really I see more of it in women. Um, but, um, but one interesting fact is if, you, if women take too much of this hormone, it can cause hair loss. So you've got to be careful. Um, as I said, the levels decrease with age. In 18-year-old men and women, your levels can range from 145 to 395. At age 70, it can be normal, can be 17 to 90. So in general, you want to get your levels around 200, maybe a little higher. But again, that's just a lab uh, measurement. I'll really go by more clinically, how do you feel? Do you have more energy? Are you less stressed? Do you have less body fat? Uh, those type of things. Definitely, if I scream for this and I see a level of over 600, which is rare, I'll look for an adrenal tumor. The other type of people I see that have elevated DHEA levels are women with PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome. And their levels can be high, and they can get some androgenic side effects like hair growth, acne, oily skin, um, infertility, um, lowering of their voice. Uh, metformin, which is a great drug that I'm really high on, um, can decrease the DHEA levels in those people. Um, if you have a low DHEA, especially in women, it can cause panic disorder. Um, a high DHEA of a level too high can cause PTSD syndrome in, in women especially. So this is a very helpful hormone. You know, I like to measure it a lot. Um, once you get to a certain age and you've depleted your estrogen and testosterone levels, um, you know, you need the bioidentical testosterone and estrogens. But, you know, DHEA can be helpful for those people too. I certainly take a little bit of it myself. Um, again, take it in the morning. What dose you should you take? Um, I take 25 milligrams. Men can take up to 50. Women, 15 milligrams, maybe 25. You got to watch for hair loss, so in women. Uh, and I usually start out at 15, and I kind of just titrate according to what your levels look like and also your symptoms. Do you have more energy? Are you more calm? Are you more adaptable? Uh, or have you lost body fat? Does it does it kind of help even that cortisol level out, the stress hormone? Um, so it's very important. You know, a lot, of, a lot of people don't even think about your adrenals and how important uh, your cortisol levels are in relation to how you feel. So it is a biomarker of aging. And so along with testosterone and, and estradiol, you need to check your DHEAS level. Um, and kind of treat accordingly. So we look at it a lot. Um, it is an over-the-counter supplement that has pretty potent effects. So think about DHEA and think about getting your levels checked, especially if you're not feeling good, you're getting older, you're getting increased belly fat and decreased memory, and you tend to not handle stress as well. Think about the hormone DHEA and come have your level checked. Uh, thank you. This is Dr. Tom Rogers from the Crooked, Crooked River uh, Farm out near Hilton's, Virginia. Just a wonderful venue. I uh, highly suggest, especially if you're getting married. Wonderful place. Thanks to Dr. David Templeton and his wife, Annette. We'll see you all next week. Mm -hmm.